Hello Leo, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you guys. I hope you are amazing. But I will say stay tuned for these messages regarding the giveaway that I'm gonna do. Once I get to 11,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway for um, a few of these journals. Um, it's going to be three journals I am willing to send one overseas outside of the United States and Canada. Uh, this is what the inside looks like. They're very nice. Have places, uh, space to put uh, a date if you want to do that. The pages are nice. They're not too thin. It has a, a couple of bookmarks inside. It does have uh, a nice little folder, which is a nice touch. A folder, a little pocket, I'm sorry. And I do like this. It has these cute pens. They write really well, by the way. I've already tested them out. Um, I do have some pens that are coming in that I will include. I'll include an additional pen with these. And um, by the time I reach my 11,000, um, I should have already done a video on manifesting or be in the process of um, getting ready to upload one. So I thought this would be a nice touch because I do talk about manifesting and writing things down a lot. So I felt as appreciation, I should actually be doing that, doing this um, to help some of you get started on that manifestation journey. It's a really, really nice journal guys a really nice journal so again three of these are going to be given away one of them can possibly be sent overseas i'm willing to do that and just be sure that you're subscribed because it'll be based on it'll be pulled from the actual subscribers what i'll do is either a live video or a pre-recorded video still figuring out how i'm gonna choose um, I've seen other channels where it looks like they have an app or something that goes through their subscriber list and choose that way. So we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. Let's get to shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. This is just going to be a few cards, so it's going to be rather quick. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. Thank you for liking the video, subscribing if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time I make a video, I do put them out weekly for all of the signs. Okay. Ooh-wee. So first thing we have is the Four of Cups. There seems to be a missed opportunity. Some of you feel like someone was a missed opportunity, but I don't really, they're a page. Some of you feel like somebody was a missed opportunity because something didn't launch. Achoo! Excuse me. It's like there was passion and there was something that could have been a relationship and it didn't launch. It didn't start. It didn't take off because this person didn't have anything to offer. You know who this is because this person came off as immature. They probably weren't very expressive when it came to their feelings or whenever you started talking about your feelings, there was always an excuse or a reason to leave or a reason to start an argument. I have you guys have been in hermit mode. You may be coming out of hermit mode in this t uh, at this time. Just be sure that when you're reflecting, you're inquiring and being honest with yourself in regards to what the lesson was. Pay attention to whether or not you have patterns that you notice when it comes to your relationships. I have the Ace of Wands. This could be, I take this as a lot of passion, but I take this as you guys starting something new, full of passion, maybe starting a business, maybe starting a hobby to help you get past this situation. The King of Wands is an entrepreneur. Maybe you guys are meant to start a business or maybe you are going to meet um, a King of Wands, an entrepreneur, somebody that's take charge, very brave. 
This actually makes me think that some of you guys had connected with somebody that was a page really immature acting when it comes to their feelings and relationships, yet this person tried to come off as a boss. You encountered a perpetrator, somebody that really cares how people view them and they do everything in their power to uphold some sort of image knowing it's all a lie. One from the top, one from the bottom. Look at this. There's a king of cups that's coming into your energy. For some of you, there is a king of wands coming into your energy. But for others of you, you dealt with a page that tried to come off like they were a king and they were not. They tried to come off as like a boss, somebody in control, somebody brave. This person was a coward for some of you. And some of you felt that, that they were c trying to come off as being in control and being strong and all this stuff. And that's not what it was. When it came to feelings, this person just didn't know how to handle them. And they didn't even want to commit for some of you. But to have a, a king of cups coming into your energy, this could be the energy some of you were sitting in where it's kind of like it's okay to have feelings, but you're not going to get swallowed up and drown in your feelings anymore. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. You guys will enter relationships and still continue being your supportive selves, your compassionate selves, your loving selves, your caring selves, your intuitive selves. I see love coming for you guys. Things don't work out for a reason. Things do not work out for a reason. If any of you have Capricorn in your chart, I will say, look at my Capricorn video that was talking about, um, it was yesterday, but it was saying that people F up for a reason. Hell, even if you're not Capricorn, still watch that video because you have to look at your relationships and realize that those relationships that didn't work out, you may have wanted them while you were in them, but a lot of those relationships, once you got away from those people and got with new individuals, you realize why those things didn't work out for you. There's something coming. There's going to be chemistry. There's somebody that's on your level. And I say that because these are right next to each other. There's somebody that's going to be your equal, willing to give as much as you give, Leo. And look, there you are right there. Man, man, so be prepared, Leo. Somebody's coming. There is love coming. Don't feel like someone was a missed opportunity. You were the missed opportunity. I'm just saying this for those of you that feel like somebody was, you missed out on somebody. You didn't miss out. Actually, for a lot of you, this person will never say it. They realize they didn't treat you the way you, that you deserve. They're going to end up getting in relationships that they're not happy with, realizing how good things were with you. So in all actuality, you were the missed opportunity. But between the two of you, you're the one that did the most reflecting. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. I love you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. And I will talk to you later. Bye.